Hey designers, what's going on? My name is FindMD and I'm a user experience designer in Toronto. And today I'm gonna redesign my portfolio. How did I get this idea? Well, my portfolio is outdated and I need to, it's not outdated in terms of work-wise. I don't really have a portfolio website because if you go to my domain, workoffindmd.com, it's in the description below by the way, it takes you to the Behance page. And on top of that, I have a YouTube channel now and I have a Dribbble account. So I got one Dribbble invite, which I wanna give to one of you guys. So all you have to do is follow me on Dribbble and subscribe, click on the bell icon off my YouTube channel. Very important. And I'll select one of you guys. The end day for my Dribbble giveaway will be on Saturday, May, which is this month, 25th and obviously 2019. All right, so let's go to Adobe XD. Okay, so let's begin here. This is so weird, it's my first time. All right, so I just opened up Adobe XD, and before I begin, let me show you guys what my site currently looks. So if I go to work off, oh my God, I have such a huge domain name, by the way, workoff5md.com, enter, it just goes to my Behance page. I uploaded this image today, so yeah, kind of cool. It's the same banner from my YouTube channel. The only thing <clears throat> that's different is I have my logos, the big clients that I, that I work with kind of gives, gives an idea to my potential clients of the type of work that I have, have experience on. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Okay, I also decided to add a, add a video of me while I'm designing. I think that might be cool. It's my first time doing it, so let me know if you guys like watching me while I design. Yeah, so that's kind of weird for me. But it's a different camera and also fun fact, I think I should shut up by the way. This is the camera that I use, eh? it's the uh, EOS, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? It's the, oh, it's the Canon M50, I'm so sorry, I forgot, I literally forgot. Yeah, so it has this mic here and I also use this mic and yeah, the camera here kind of shows how I look when I flip it this way. Pretty cool, expensive too. All right, so let's begin. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm gonna do desktop and mobile. So right now, let's focus on desktop. For me, I feel like desktop is the easiest route to go to and then mobile. Tablet is not really important for me right now because I know that majority of my clients, they visit my portfolio on desktop. Anyways, let's start. Okay, most important thing is, as you can see on my name, 5MD, and the background color here, I'm going to use that as my UI kit. I'm gonna use my brand colors as my UI kit. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you will see I have the same colors obviously applied. Oh, not this guy again. Yeah, see, it's the same red. This red, that red is here. I'm gonna use this color UI design, that same font color um, on my portfolio, which is the same as here and I'm gonna use the background color instead of white I'm gonna go with this one right here so those are very important things that I need to apply in my portfolio website and all the way across so let's begin with that okay I'm gonna use this grid here which is by default you can select it on Adobe XD awesome I love that now it when it comes to my colors there, I've, I've saved them already here. So I'm going to use this guy. Where is it? Right here, bang, done. We got the background color. Now what I need is, I wanna make it sweet and simple. So we know that I, let's just make it, let's just do it right. Oops, let's go right here and do it. Okay, so I need, a portfolio link which will go to which will go to Behance I have dribble that's recent or work in progress design stuff I also have a, oh yes I also have a YouTube where I talk about UI and UX design and we also have oh and I also have a startup which was oh yeah startup which is zipboom.com what else do I need on my portfolio I need uh, I'm probably gonna have a client list selected ones I need a contact and I need Oh, yes. 
social links like like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and etc. etc. These are the things that I need on my portfolio. Oh, also importantly, I need it's not so much of a logo, it'll be like it's just my name, which yeah, I'm not a brand designer, I'm not a you know graphic designer, so I don't need to do a crazy logo as long as someone can read my name and they know that they came to my website. Uh, that's pretty much it. First, I'm going to do is uh, <clears throat> write my name, work of this is my domain, Fahim MD, and then dot com. Mouse is like okay. Let's remove the dot com. Okay, I think I got an idea. I'm gonna. I'm going to separate work of and Fahim MD. Uh, yes, I'm gonna do that. Let's make this all caps oh god here let's put that to this color open sense is a great font let's make this guy bold more than that okay extra bold this one can be semi yes let's make it bigger i don't think this is big yet yeah there we go Put the um, bang like that. Let's put both of them. Thirty. I feel like my name needs to be a little bit bigger, so let's do forty. No, that's too big. Let's do thirty-five. Okay, perfect. I want this to to really stand out. Let's do two hundred. Probably, yeah, this should be good. And let's make this guy as small as possible. There we go. Yeah, 20 is fine. Okay, I might play around with this later, but like I said, I'm not a brand designer, so it's not the end of the world for me. So I'm just gonna keep it as is. Now I need to write a small blurb. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this one here because I'm a lazy person. Boom, 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 boom. What color do I want? Yeah, let's keep it this, this color. Let's do this. <clears throat> let's do that right here. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be something, something, something. And something. All right, so we're gonna come back to this later. This is just to talk about me, who am I? Most likely one sentence would be great. Now what I need to do here is, let's see, I got this much space. This is great, this is great. Let's call this, no, main, got it. So while I was typing this right here with you guys, I, I figured out how I would want my portfolio to be. So very straight and simple. Probably gonna put it right here. Let's see. What is more important first? Portfolio, yes, port. And then maybe like a small blurb about it, which can go right here. Uh, um, okay, so let's make this guy gold. What color do I want on this one? Let's put a hard color. There we go. Okay, bold. Um, I don't know, 50? Now let's go a little bit bigger than that. Let's do 60. Okay. I'm gonna take this off for a second. I think 60 is fine. Or worst case, 70. 70. So guys, FYI, 70 size is the largest size you can do on a desktop. Please don't go crazy like 100. Yeah, so 70 is ideal in terms of um, large font text sizes. Let's focus on that and put this guy a little bit lower so it's perfect. Okay, so this is like telling users what this link is about. Okay. Okay, so the next thing would be a grid. So let's do that. I think this is a good space. Yes, this is an amazing space. 
Ooh, yeah. Uh oh, I don't want that. There we go. Okay, the next thing would be dribble. I think it's three Bs on dribble. I think so. Yeah, dribble. And after that, I would probably want to showcase my YouTube. Oh, it's capital T. And then my startup. Yes. There we go. Cool. All right. We're going to get back to the description below these links after. Obviously, there's going to be a hover. So when someone hovers on portfolio, it's going to be underlined like that. Okay. Next. Oh, we'll save this later. Uh, okay, now what? We got the logo with the name right here. We have the portfolio links. Okay, we need contact. We need client list and contact. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna take this guy, duplicate it all the way across. See, they're not perfectly aligned, and that's bothering me right now. So I'm just gonna align them like that. Doop. Done. Okay, now we need the grid back. So click on the grid. Most of the time, I actually don't really use the grid because everything is just, you know, on top of my head. And I just, I know how it's going to be. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, get rid of the grid again. Grid out. All right, so this is what I need. I need two things here. First, I need, let's just zoom in here for a second. Okay. So I need to decide what's gonna be what's gonna be more important. Do get in touch like that. Let's make this guy I think semi bold. Semi bold is fine. You go right this. Yeah. So the first one is very important. It's gonna be for them to contact me via, uh, via email. So send a message, email, and then it's just social after that. So LinkedIn. Let's keep it business professional. And then Twitter, my my Twitter and Instagram, also Facebook. So these three things are going to be design related. They're not my personal accounts. I'm sure these people don't want to see what, like how many times a day I drink coffee or what I eat for breakfast. They want to see what am I designing next. My you know design related feedback and so on and so forth. Um, and, uh, any article that I decide to retweet or post, any, anything that I found interesting on Google, the new design or their new tactic on UI UX, I'll definitely share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and even LinkedIn. So keep it like that. I also have a Medium channel. Okay, yeah, I think this is it. Since these are links, I want the, I want to uh, separate it a little bit. I think that's great. Or 35, that's too much. So, yeah, 33. Okay, got that done. Same tactic will be applied right here. And give them a good amount, and I'll, and I'll blah. give them a good amount of space. This is my clients. People that I have worked with in the past. BMW, Canada, Mini, Canada, uh, Red, Tag.ca, Kia Motors, Buy on Foot. Oops. These are all the people that I have worked with and I Rito. Retirement Homes. Uh, what else did I do? What else did I do? Oh, I did work with the, with the university a long time ago. So make, I think, yes, McMaster University. What else did I do? I also worked at a magazine company that was called Urbanology Magazine. I think that's how you spell it. Urban. Oh, there we go. Okay. Urbanology Magazine. Um, what else? Oh, I work for a nonprofit organization which is called Mercy Mission World, and I work for a big real estate company in Toronto called the Daniels Homes Corp. No, I, I don't think there's a corp. All right, actually, I'm just gonna ungroup it that way, it just works out. Yeah, there we go, so much better. 
yeah i think these are my clients the reason why i chose these clients is to give any uh potential client that lands on my portfolio website or any sort of company that wants to hire me they, they're gonna look at my list and they'll decide oh okay you know what he's not gonna charge me twenty dollars an hour because he has worked with big companies recognizable brands in toronto or canada therefore i kind of have a clue of how much he's going to charge me and it looks like this guy has a lot of experience if you don't have clients like mine which is obviously totally fine all you have to make sure is you got clients that are recognizable within the city or have clients where you had a challenging experience you love that experience and you're very proud of it so make sure you guys list list them there do not put 20 30 40 just put like top five top three they're even fine uh, worst case you can al always remove this part for now and not even worry about it and obviously five years down the road or even three years down the road if you got some good lists mention them there it's a nice spot to like show off pretty much yeah so now i gotta write something about myself before i do that i gotta make sure that we are not oh there we go perfect okay great i'm just gonna group them together because i will yeah I'm, I'm, I, I will you know what let me just do this right now ocd see it's telling me that this is the center point but i'm just gonna leave it as is right here uh ungroup and let's go right here okay so my goal is not to have wording that goes all the way here so write something that talks a little bit about you and who you are so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write um product designer and where do i currently work at red tech so where he designs yeah that's pretty much it i think that's good do i need any alignment spacing let's do 30. Uh, let's keep it simple uh remove the grid for a second oh my god i can pick my own color let's do ah i love this color i don't know like that bang beautiful okay i'm gonna say behance yeah, Behance is where I showcase my portfolio. Based on these small descriptions here, it tells the users where they are going to go to. So if they click on Dribble, they know they're gonna see my recent work or work in progress. If they click on YouTube, what's that about? Well, it's it's where I share my 10, 10 years of experience on UI UX design portfolio. Where do I put it on? It's on Behance. Startup. Patrick Roy, who's my business partner, he's also involved in this. So I'm gonna mention him and give him a credit as well. Experiences. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is great. Okay, this seem a bit too closer. Okay, so these guys are a bit too close here than they are. This is my, this is my portfolio. I gotta just gonna take this out. I think I'm missing something. Oh, I know, I know what I need. Is it here? Yes, I need this right here. Take this guy, go here, copyright. 2019 by work of FahimMD.com. Bang. Yeah, there we go, okay. Well, there you have it. This is how it's going to look on desktop. So let's do mobile right now. I would go for X iPhone X okay pretty straightforward let's do oops get rid of this guy okay place the grid color bang done now everything obviously needs to be resized so this is how we are going to do it I'll take these two guys and place them here I'm just gonna click and drag it like that. I think I think this is a good size. Size this. Yeah, it's good. Bring it a little bit to right about there. Okay. Cool. 
this is 20 i'm going to make it 17. okay we are cool what's next now we gotta take it's gonna make this longer just in case okay good enough I really don't like this color right now. Here we go. Okay. These are things that I do because of my OCD problem. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna take all of these and place them right here. Everything is going to get reduced by 50% somewhere around there. Let's make All of these guys, obviously, I'm gonna make them 17. Uh, this can be, I'm thinking 30 or 40, so let's just do 40. Yeah. The reason why I said 40 is because 40 is the largest font size you can do on a mobile. Keep that in mind. This guy's what? Yeah, he's 32. Okay, so please keep that in mind and let's do it. It's okay if the text runs on all the way there. That's totally fine. Okay, these are gonna be all clickable. This and this clickable, so keep in mind of thumb spacing. Bang like that. Okay, cool. We take get in touch on the client. We place them right at the bottom. Yeah, not too close like that. So we're just gonna reinvent our own spacing here. Let's just say six D is great. Okay, we're just gonna ungroup them for a bit. So I'm gonna put 14 on this one. It's not really that important. Um, I'm gonna make these 17 and I think we're done. We have the copyright. It should be. Oops. Let's make this guy 14 as well. There we go. Okay, don't put it too far. Let's do. Okay, I think that's good enough here okay let's get rid of the grid well there you go this is this is my portfolio site yeah I think that's much better there we go all right okay so this is my portfolio site desktop and I got mobile if you want to see how I do tablet I'll do this right now very quick uh, let's pick the iPad okay we're just gonna move this guy here I'm gonna put that like that okay first thing is first you go like this now iPad the good thing about iPad is you can just play with the sizing so this is gonna be perfect so we take we just gonna take all of this and place it just like that you use this use the grid I don't like this color like I've said many times so I'm just gonna make it lighter you take all of these guys and bang just like that obviously since we have more space next okay and what, what else do we have oh yeah we have the okay now this is the challenge I guess since we have a lot of space here we can definitely let's just group them for a bit yeah so we can definitely take these guys and place them right here Okay, or if you want, you can also move, move them a bit and the copyright guy comes right 
here. You could even put, put this in the center. It's really up to you. Um, yeah, there you go. Move the grid. Okay. So, you have your desktop. You have your tablet. Which needs to be like that. There are four. Kind of need to make them go just a little bit higher, like that. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Clear your tablet, and then you got your mobile. All right guys, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. I really hope you guys did. If you have any questions on building your own portfolio website, please comment below and I will definitely help you guys out. Deep Dribble invite. All you gotta do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon and follow me on Dribble. Until then, my name is FimeMD and I'm a UX designer in Toronto. Peace out.